In the 17th century, French philosopher and mathematician René Descartes introduced Cartesian coordinates that revolutionized mathematics by providing the first systematic link between geometry and algebra. And this Cartesian coordinate later introduced the Cartesian product to describe the result of combining two sets to form a new set of ordered pairs. Here in this lecture, we'll discuss how the Cartesian coordinate system simplifies the concept of vector addition and how the Cartesian product helps to think about the dimension as well as how all these are related to each other and become a foundation of linear algebra for geometric representation. Let's have a look at the Cartesian product. Suppose A and B are two non-empty sets. Also let X and Y be two elements of A and B respectively and their arbitrarily chosen points. Now for these two non-empty sets A and B, the Cartesian product of A and B is the set of all ordered pairs X, Y such that X belongs to A and Y belongs to B and it is most commonly implemented in set theory. For an example, let us consider A to be a set collection of elements small a and small b and b is a set collection of elements 1, 2 and 3. Then the Cartesian product of a and b is the collection of ordered pairs a1, a2, a3 and b1, b2, b3. Now a table can be created by taking the elements as a set of columns and a set of rows respectively to represent the Cartesian product of these two sets. If we consider A to be a set, collection of two distinct numbers 2 and 4, then their Cartesian product will contain all the ordered pairs on this table. This further will lead us to the Cartesian coordinate system, which will tell us about how to represent a point uniquely in the n-dimensional coordinate plane. The theory of Cartesian system was proposed by French philosopher and mathematician René Descartes on 17th century. The Cartesian coordinate system provides the relationship between Euclidean geometry and algebra, which has revolutionized the study of mathematics. On top of that, the Cartesian coordinate system is the foundation of analytical geometry and helps in the representation of lines, curves, geometric figures, and so on. Now a coordinate system consists of four basic elements. First, choice of axis. And here is how we have taken the x and y axis. Second, choice of origin. Here we have taken the point of intersection of x and y axis as the origin. Third, choice of positive direction for each axis. Here is how we have considered the positive and negative direction for both axes. And lastly, the choice of unit vector for each axis. And we have denoted the unit vector on the positive direction of each axis by 1. Now we can represent A and B and their Cartesian product on this coordinate system where A and B consist of numbers 2 and 4 and 1, 2 and 3 along X and Y axis respectively. The Cartesian product of A and B consists of an ordered pair 2, 1 which represents the position 2 unit away from the origin along X axis and 1 unit away from the origin along Y axis on this coordinate system. In other words, the projection of the position 2, 1 along x axis is 2 and along y axis is 1. Also this position represents the point of intersection between two lines passing through 2 and 1 on x and y axis and parallel to y and x axis respectively. 
in similar fashion all the other elements of the set a cross b can be expressed as a point of intersection between two such lines and obviously we can consider a and b to have more points and we'll have all the elements of their corresponding cartesian product in this way here we have the idea of how the cartesian product works on two sets with finite number of elements and this nature of cartesian product gives us a way to think how it will be if we consider a and b to be the sets consist of all the points in between two points on x and y axis respectively and then we will get a cross b to be represented by the shaded region indicated on the xy plane and for arbitrary points x and y from a and b respectively here is the corresponding point of a cross b on this coordinate system that's how we can visualize the cartesian product of two sets further we can consider them to be the subsets of the vector space r the set of all real numbers representing vectors and as a result the shaded region represents vectors derived from the cartesian product of two vector spaces now if both a and b are the whole r then a cross b is r cross r which is also represented as r2 and all the points of r2 represent vectors and are represented by an ordered pair of real numbers x y and the vector x y is basically the destination point of our journey if we start from the origin and move x unit right then y unit up or move y unit up and then x unit right so the vector x y is basically the sum of two vectors x 0 and 0 y as vectors only have magnitude and direction that's why without changing their magnitude and direction we can displace them wherever we want and a suitable displacement gives us x y as a resultant vector which further gives us a generalized view of vector addition which we have done previously also the choice of vector can be altered to have the same result eventually this is the core construction of how vectors are added component wise to have a new one in other words we can always reach the position x y on the plane by moving only along axis and the coordinates of the vector represent the displacement should have to be done along x and y axis respectively to reach the position since the vector x y is an arbitrary vector we can conclude that the fact is true for any vector in r2 and similar we can represent the space r3 as a collection of elements of the form 3 tuple x y and z where x y and z are all real numbers and here this is how we can represent each of its points for the generalizing the cartesian product of r by n times we get it as a collection of ordered n tuples x1 x2 to xn as its elements where x1 x2 xn are from r and we simply represent it as rn and interestingly rn is a vector space with respect to component wise vector addition and scalar multiplication defined as x1 x2 xn plus y1 y2 yn is x1 plus y1 x2 plus y2 xn plus yn and lambda dot x1 x2 xn is equal to lambda dot x1 lambda dot x2 lambda dot xn where x1 x2 xn and y1 y2 yn are in rn now what about the distance in the space rn 